Well, coming here, what I anticipated was, you know, work on your science skills. Um, I read the web page, so I knew that we were going to talk about worship and the heart of a worshiper and that kind of thing, which is really what drew me to the program is that as like knowing that that aspect was going to be dealt with. Um, but I don't think there was any way to actually be prepared for what actually happened this week. Um, taking those first couple of days and focusing on worship and the heart of worship and what it means to be a worship leader slash interpreter or even the fact that we, we could be categorized as worship leaders, like that was a, a whole new phenomenon to me, but um, just uh, this, this workshop kind of worked from the inside out. So by the time we got to working on science skills and, and the whole slew of things we learned just about interpreting and um, by the time we got there, it's like our hearts had been prepped, you know, it was like there was no, no matter how difficult it was going to be, no matter how challenging it was going to be, we were already prepared to, to kind of confront that and handle it in a, in a, in a safe space, but also um, just, I don't know, just ready in our hearts because it was like no matter what we did, we were okay because our hearts were okay, you know what I mean? Um, and so there's that, and then there's the actual skill stuff that, you know, here's what you do as an interpreter, here's what you don't do as an interpreter, like, wow, look at all that stuff I was doing, you know? And so just to, to experience, um, one, just learning that, being able to recognize and self-reflect and be able to say, wow, I was doing that, I should not be doing that, I'm going to not do that anymore. Um, this all that stuff and then all these other things that you don't even think about you don't even it doesn't even cross your mind that this is important as a part of interpreting and learning all that stuff and being able to take all that stuff back home and the concert at the end where uh which is kind of like a culmination of everything we, we have an opportunity to kind of apply a lot of the stuff that we learned and getting the feedback from mama sam you know the videos we sent in when we applied and what we look like now just it's so encouraging to know that um, so quickly we could be transformed in that way and I'm just imagining that if we continue to apply the things that we've learned what an impact that's going to have on the deaf community on the interpreting world on worship in our particular churches and stuff so it's just amazing come if you don't mind being challenged if you don't mind being loved on like a whole lot then you should come